Our cat's name is Braille, um, but we don't usually call her that. Uh, we usually just call her Kitty. Um, and that's why the previous owner decided to name her Braille, because she's blind. Um, did they tell you the story of how she became a homeless kitty? Well, I remember her telling it is that she was in a box by the freeway, and she was sitting in the box listening to traffic. So I think somebody saw her and was like, you know, this is a run cat, she's got all these problems, we're just gonna get rid of her. So she got sent to the shelter. So tell us about the story about how you got Braille. How we got her. Um, we used to have this roommate named Eli, and he was in love with a girl who worked at a, an animal shelter in Minneapolis. And we were going to Minneapolis to visit Dan's parents, and we heard that this girl had a cat for our roommate that he that she thought would be just perfect for him. And so he asked us to pick pick her up while we were in Minneapolis. And we did, and at first I was really weirded out by her just because, you know, her eyes are red. She looks kind of like a zombie. Um, and like this girl was just saying, isn't she adorable? Isn't she just the cutest cat you've ever seen in your life? And I was like, not really, no, she's kind of creepy. She's kind of weirding me out. But we brought her home all drugged up. And um, then like six months later, our roommate moved out because he had met a different girl. And they actually got married and they're still married, happily married today. Um, and now she's ours. Forever. Can you take, tell us the challenges of having a blind cat? Um, there aren't really many. She takes good care of herself. She gets around really well. Um, but sometimes when we move things, like when we move chairs around or whatever, she'll run into them. She kind of runs into stuff a lot. Walls. Feet. Um, furniture. Alright, now I'm gonna interview Dan. So tell us about the challenges of having a blind kid in the house. Well, you don't really have to be vigilant about house cleaning, but you do have to be vigilant about putting stuff back in the same place where you originally had it. Because otherwise the cat will run into it and, uh, you know, the first couple of times you laugh at her because it's funny because she hit her head, but then eventually you start to feel really bad for her. Things that make you laugh or whatnot. Uh, she <laughs> kind of talks a little bit. She's she's definitely an audiophile. Like when I play music on my computer or on the piano or whatever, she's like really very happy about it, and it's like her favorite her favorite thing ever. Is it uh, true that she can see shadows? Um, I don't think so. Like, I've never seen any evidence that she can see anything. Like, I've shined a light in her eyes, like, blinked it off and on and seen no response. Um, I've, you know. What, have you done anything else to try to figure out if she can see anything? Pretty much positive that she's blind. Yeah. I, I've never seen any evidence that she can see anything. But she does hear really well. So if you drag, like, a piece of string or a ribbon or, you know, your finger along the ground, she'll be able to track it. And um, she can actually even kill flies. She's that, like, a good of a hunter. Um, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, she's cool. <laughs>